Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Pico, our text editor. Uh, I'll be creating a file called index.html, HTML, and that file will be in the directory called public underscore HTML. Uh, Pico is our text editor in Unix, so on Copeland. Um, it's similar to Word without the features, so maybe more similar to Notepad in, in, rather than Word. So. Let's jump right on it. I'll try to keep this short. There we go. So I'm logged in already. You should log in too if you want to follow along. Uh, let's see where I am. PWD. And uh, we see I'm in my home directory. In my home directory, there is a directory called public underscore HTML. That's where I want to be. Uh, Apache works from public HTML. So Public HTML is Apache's web root. So we want all of our web documents to be in that directory. So I will cd into that. No response. Doesn't mean nothing happened. It means there was no mistake. So if I do a PWD, we will see that I am now in my, my present working directory. It's now public HTML. Right, so I'm going to do an ls. We'll see what's in this, in this directory. And I do already have an index.html there. So when I use Pico, let's, let me just use the name of the program, P-I-C-O, it's the text editor. Um, when I, index.html. Now when I execute this, Pico is going to open up my existing file. If you do not have an index.html already, Pico will create the file and open it for you. So you'll have a blank file. You won't, you won't have any text in your file. Mine has text in it because it exists already and I already wrote it. Notice there's no command prompt here. So we are not typing commands in here. This is just plain text. Whatever text you put in here is the text that's going to be displayed in your browser when the web server serves this particular page called index.com. Uh, I'm sorry, index.html. All right, so I typed all of this in. Um, I'll show you how to get it saved. Let me make some modifications. Even if I remove them, I still initiate the, the fact that it needs to be saved in some sort of way. We have down at the bottom of the screen here, we have a couple of commands that were particularly in concerned or, or interested in. There's one called exit there and one called write out. These correspond to, exit corresponds to save in Windows, which you would get through through file or by clicking that floppy disk um, icon at the upper left. Write out, that's write out. Sorry, I went backwards. Exit corresponds to, in, win, in Word, if you click the X, as if you're going to close Word in the upper right-hand side of your, of your screen. That's what exit is. Write out is save, file save, equivalent to clicking the floppy disk. So let me show, just show you, I'll show you an example. We'll do a control X first. So as if I clicked the red X in the upper right-hand side of Word, I'm attempting to close Pico, right? Exit Pico. So what we see here is the first thing I get a warning from Pico saying, do I want to save the modified buffer? I'm going to hit yeah, why? And then it asks me, do you want to save this buffer uh, in the file called index.html? And I will say yes by just by hitting enter. And now I have my command prompt back, right? There's my command prompt. So it's ready for me to enter a command again. In other words, I have left Pico. Now it did write out, it did write the file out to the disk, so it's been saved. Uh, but I, at the same time, I exited Pico. So let me get it open again, and I'll show you the other one. So I just opened up Pico again. I used the up arrow key on uh, that I can do, I can use that in Bash to uh, choose one of the commands that I've already worked with. So we'll do this, and I'm going to attempt, I'm going to do a Control O now. So it still asks me, 
do you want to write to the file called index.html? Notice it did not ask, do you want to save changes? The fact that I'm using control O means what I'm saying is I'm trying to save. I want to save the changes. It doesn't need to ask me if I want to. So I'll just hit enter and notice I do not, here I, I hit two things. I do not have a command prompt. So I'm still in Pico. Pico's still open. In order for me to get out, I'm going to have to do a control X. At this point, I made a modification again, right? After I hit the enter, I accidentally hit the, uh, the backslash key. So even if I try to exit, it's going to, here, I'll do it. Control X, it's going to ask me, if, do you want to abandon those, the change that I just made? So I could say yes or no, I'll just say yes. And I do want to save it to that file. And there's my command prompt. So I can do an ls and we'll see the file sitting there. ls, negative l, and I might be able to see. Now I need some more, but I can see the date. I just can't see the time. Oh yeah, maybe, no, I can't. Yep, yeah. allow them for 1542, so 442, and it currently is for 342. Oh, it's because we're not on daylight saving times. It's not 14 anyway, it's 15. So if we thought of it, it's the same time. It, it, it is indicating that the last time this file was saved was just now, today, September 11th at this time. All right. I do believe, I do believe that that will conclude this video and you'll all be very happy that for once I was able to make a short video. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and be finished with this one and work on another one.